Well, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Jeep Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert, November 8th, 2020. And today is the big day. Today is the drawing for who's going to win the big seed giveaway. And we'll be getting to that sometime during this video. So stay tuned with me. Don't drop off. You're going to want to see live when I'm doing that who's going to be the winner or who is the winner. And uh, it's going to be very short and simple on the drawing, so it won't take a lot of your time. We're looking at all the rain clouds around here. It's been raining on and off all day long. And uh, well, I got a little rain gauge over here. Let's go see what's in it. Well, it looks like just about an eighth of an inch total. Uh, yeah, it, it's been on and off. My neighbors four and a half miles from here said that they got snow and hail. And I said, what the hail is going on over there? So here I got just rain and uh, it was heavy and then it was gone and then it was heavy and then it was gone. So just on and off, on and off. And you can see the chickens over there. They heard my voice so they think I'm bringing treats. I'll be doing that right after I finish this video. But right now we're gonna head on down to the uh, garden house or the greenhouse actually, because I wanna show you something that I noticed when I was down here checking things out this morning because uh, things inside the greenhouse can't get watered in the rain, but the uh, rest of the garden does. And it looks like everything survived so far, but I just got a freeze warning. Oh boy, I guess that door swelled up a little bit. Yeah, the wind blew over the ladder and a bunch of stuff here. So I put a weight on top of the cover so that the cover of that wouldn't blow off. Well, let's see if I can get inside of here. Here we go. Tomatoes are doing well. You remember those clippings? They're coming to life. So it stays pretty warm in here. Those little uh, leaks that we have in here that come from where the windows or the vents are up there because they don't seal perfectly tight. So a little water is going to get in. But it's nice in here. It's like 72 degrees in here. And it's only, uh, I would say, 40, if anything, outside. So uh, this thing is working the way it's supposed to. So look at how nice and green everything is. I got some fresh parsley coming up inside of my avocado tree bucket here. So uh, Cool. Anyway, over here, look at my radishes. Hey, 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 we got radishes. So it looks like those could use a little bit of water. And if you don't mind, while I'm here, I think we'll, I will accommodate them. Oh, I already have water in my little bucket, so let's add some here. I've got to keep those damp and moist. The spinach should be sprouting pretty soon, too. So, uh, as you can see, the seeds do work. The seeds that you, you were in the contest for you are the same seeds that I'm using right here. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, get a little more in there. And that looks like it's plenty wet over there. Oh, got to get a little bit for my cat grass. I see some little green sprouts coming up in my cat grass there. All right, so that should do that. And these barrels, that water is lukewarm. So they're helping keeping it warm in here too. That's a good thing. This one's also full of water. Um, I'm going to end up taking uh, some, I got some white uh, one gallon containers. And uh, I think I'll get to that tomorrow. I'm going to paint them black and fill them with water. And then I'll be able to uh, stick a couple of those in with Tomcat in his cage for a little bit of extra residual heat at night. I think he'll like that. Of course, he's got a nice uh, plush bed that he snuggles up in. And I've checked on him and he seems to be doing just fine. And I, uh, I do fill his uh, water bowl at night with uh, warm water instead of cold water. And I'm sure it cools off pretty fast, but if he gets to drink a little bit of warm water before 
he retires to his bed with his drinking warm water with his meal it'd be just like us having a cup of tea right all right so <clears throat> crazy weather radish sprouts the garden is doing fine chickens are doing fine tomcats doing fine and uh we've got clear skies overhead here all right just like normal all the way around it's raining over there right now but uh there's snow in the mountains over there and right now they're getting still getting snowed on so i'll show you the picture of the mountains after all of this stuff clears but it's cold out here i mean it is really cold with the wind chill factor out here i would say oh it's got to feel like it's about 15 degrees out here so not uh not very nice, but I got plenty of electricity. The wind has been howling and gusting uh, anywhere from, well, it's dropped down to about 14 a few times, but uh, I've seen it up to 30. So, yeah, real major gusts. And there's Tomcat over there in his cage, protected in the corner, so he's not getting hardly any wind on him. And uh, I've got him tarped over so that uh, it holds a little bit of heat inside for him. And he's, like I said, he's doing just fine in there. So let's head on side here. And we're going to get set up to do a drawing. A seed giveaway drawing, right? I just want to show you, one of my neighbors found the bookcase I was looking for. Just the right size to go right here under that picture by the door. Now I had that big cabinet there, and that's going to move out of here and go into my workshop. And I'll make a couple extra shelves for the inside of it. And I'll store things inside of there that I need to um, get off of my workbench. Because my workbench is all cluttered right now. When I go in there, I have to clear a spot to do some work. So, yeah, I got my little torches up here. The oranges came from my friend Bill's tree. And uh, that's uh, perfect. Got my keys right by the door. So if I need to rush out in a hurry... No problem, right? Beautiful outside. Look at how clear it is. Well, let's take a walk down the path and say, ah, yeah, right. It's a picture. All right, everybody. So let's move on in here. And here we go. I'm going to pull a chair out and get down here. Oh, sorry. And yeah, I got my hoodie on. So we're going to turn this on thing and uh, put my coat in. And here we go, random drawer. And there's the, uh, the October seed giveaway. I to see, I think I might have to, uh, yeah, there's all the names. 314 entries. And we'll go down through here. But yeah, there's just a lot of entries on here. And a few people tried to uh, get their names in one more time, but they were past the deadline, so couldn't do that. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is, uh, let's see if it's under tools here, drawing history, save history. I've never used this before, so hang in with me as we try to figure it out here. Okay, so we don't need uh, those settings, so we'll close that. And, uh, and go back this way. Oh, well, they got a, an ad on here for some kind of big old live. Now, I don't need that. Let's close that. And then uh, I guess what I'm going to have to do is shut down and restart the iPad. So let's do that. Oh boy. Woo Hang in people. I'm trying to get there. We're almost there. 
That's an old iPad too, so it doesn't uh, activate very quickly. And then I'm going to have to lift it away while I put my password in. And uh, we'll come right back to it. In the meantime, you get to stare at a reflection of my ceiling fan. Okay. All right, password's been entered. I'll go to page two. Open up random drawer. And it looks like we're going to use randomize from the list. Okay, so let's hit that one. Choose this list right here. We're going to have one draw for one name. So we're going to get ready here, and I'll get a little in closer here as I hit the draw button. And it looks like Ma'am 546 from Pennsylvania is our winner. And she was entry number 170. Or he was, whoever Ma'am 546 of Pennsylvania is. So congratulations, Ma'am 546 in Pennsylvania. Now, I will uh, leave at, in the comment section below this video, I will leave the email address for you to send me your mailing address, not your email address, your, your mailing address where you want the seeds to be sent. And I'll get those in the mail right away. Now remember, you have 72 hours or three days to get those, get that information to me, or you forfeit the, the, um, the seeds and they'll go into another drawing. I'm going to try to get another drawing together, but it's going to change the rules a little bit because this one was a little bit hectic and a little confusion for some people. So I'm going to do a new one with uh, some simpler rules and uh, a little shorter. It won't be a 10 day drawing. It'll be a shorter one. And uh, we'll have another pack of seeds to go out. So stick, stick with me. Keep watching my videos. And thank you for joining me tonight. This is G-Bear signing off.